Hello everyone. Hope that you all are doing good. So today in this video we will discuss how you can generate a QR code of your personal details or any data that you want to store in a QR code. But before jumping to the video, if you people find my videos knowledgeable, so please like, share and comment on the video and please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that the notification could be received whenever I upload a new video. So today in this video, we'll be doing a fun activity. We'll be using Google's Zing library and generate a QR code with the data that user enters from the form that has been displayed to the user, right? So, and uh, when we scan that QR code, we'll be able to see all the, all the details that we have entered from the form are visible in the QR code as well. But wait a minute. Let me ask you a question that if we are generating a QR code with our personal details, then where practically we can use these QR codes. And I would love to hear from you in the comment section. I'll definitely pin those comments, which are best answers. And I'll hope that you people comment down. So let's start and let's go to the IDE and discuss how to generate a QR code using Zeng's library. So uh, let me show you the code structure. So this is the code structure. First of all, let me take you to the pom.xml where uh, I have taken the Maven dependency of uh, Google Zing, right? This is the uh, dependency that I have used to generate the QR code, right? You can Google it, uh, Google Zing uh, Maven dependency, or you can copy it from my code. Uh, the code uh, repository link would be in the description. So this is how uh, the pom.xml looks. This is only just in uh, one edition has been given, right? Uh, just two uh, dependencies of uh, Google Zing Core and Google Zing Java SE, right? To support Java so that our code could write the data into the QR code, right? So, and uh, I have used theme leaf, I have used Spring Starter, Spring Starter JPA uh, application. So web starter, right? So these are the dependencies that I have taken in the uh, pom.xml. Now let's go to the code structure. So code structure looks like uh, we have three packages. One is for the application, the main class. One is for the controller and one is for the Pojo class. Uh, it is uh, carrying data from UI to my controller where I can uh, massage the data into the controller and do whatever I want to do with that data, right? If I want to store into the database, I'll store it. If I want to change some information and show it to the user again, so I'll do that, right? Uh, we are not, uh, right now, uh, we don't have a database connection in this application, so we are not storing anything into the database. So I'm using a Pojo class. So I have taken, so this is uh, how our Pojo class looks like. So we have uh, three fields, that is a name, email ID and a mobile number, right? So this is our Pojo class. So now uh, let me take you to the controller class. What we are doing in controller is that first of all, we are performing a single uh, mapping that is slash QR, where we are performing a get, ma uh, get mapping as well, which is uh, displaying our uh, HTML to the user. And then there is a post mapping, uh, which is actually taking uh, data into the QR details POJO. And then we are, uh, what we are doing here is we are just uh, generating a buffered image. So how we are generating a buffered image, we are, uh, I've written a method here, generate QR code image, which is uh, just taking a string builder object and whatever data is coming in this barcode text object. We are just writing it as I know that I have name uh, as a field, email as a field and a mobile number as a field. So I'm using string builder and building a string out of it, right? So I have built the string out of it. And now we are using a QR code writer library. QR code writer library is a Zing provided library, right? We are just uh, using this library and we are encoding our data into it and telling that what type of uh, image we want to generate right it could be a barcode could be a qr code so i've taken a qr code and few of the parameters that requires right uh, like uh, content has been required the format of barcode is required and width and height of the for uh, barcode is required that you can play with it right you can generate a bigger uh, picture of qr code as well and then we have used a matrix to image writer dot two buffered image right so this is also uh, 
Zwing library and we are generating uh, the buffered image out of it and we are returning the buffered image now whatever image i have received i am storing into a local address right i have made a folder and i am storing into a local address then i am using image io library which is a java x library so i am writing that image to a jpg and uh, to this particular location right so this file would be a jpg and i am writing it to a particular location that is output file right i have taken this path right so then uh, to uh, transfer the object to ui again i have uh, put the model dot add attributes and i have put the all the all the details of qr details pojo into that object and just that i am returning a success url uh, if um, everything goes right i am uh, uh, telling the user that okay your qr image has been generated on a particular path and that particular path would be visible to the user on, on the same screen where he is inputting all the details and then he can go to that particular path and uh, check uh, that image has been generated and then he can scan that QR code right so this is uh, the uh, code changes that we have done from the Java point of view now let me take you to the HTML what we have done in the HTML uh, we have our QR details HTML so let me take you to the html part so this is the html right and what we have done is we have simply taken a uh, name from the user we have taken email from the user we have taken mobile number from the user and we have uh, given a submit button so on the click of submit we will be shown a directory where we our qr code would be generated with our name dot html right our name would be there and dot jpg file would be generated right like if i am putting my first name as uh, raman so my uh, qr code would be image underscore raman dot jpg right so uh, this these are our code changes this is a just a fun game out of java that okay uh, this is a new thing that how to generate a qr code and we can uh, ample of information could be stored into the qr code and some practicality is there i'll cover up uh, in some subsequent shot or a video but definitely i'll be waiting for your comments and if so i'll be waiting that you comment down that what how practically we can use these qr codes uh, with our details or with any information that could be hidden right in the qr image so th these are our code changes right so you can see that these are our code changes we have done nothing in application dot properties so let me take you to the application class and let me run the code so let me run the code right let me start the application and let's wait that the application starts so okay now our application has started right so it says the started application qr security application right so now uh, one more uh, catch uh in this project is that i am saying that okay i need comments that where practically we can use it but you can also see that what my project name is it's qr security application so i can give you an idea that okay it is related to security where we can use it uh, practically so you people comment down that what level of security uh, a qr could provide you right in day to day so uh, the application has started so let me go to the url and the url is localhost and let me type in as qr right so it will take me to a form right it will display me a form right this is the form so i'll uh, input my name as raman preet singh right Raman Preet Singh and my email as Raman Opli19 at the rate gmail dot com and mobile number as right and now I'll submit the application. So what output has been generated? So it says that QR code QR generated successfully. Please check at this particular location that the location URL is given. QR image 
with your name would be generated right so i have uh, written name as raman preet singh so let me take you to this directory first and let's see that our image is being generated or not so let me take you to this directory so we go to this directory okay we are here and I, this image is being generated right so you can see that i have so this is the uh, qr code image right so this is the qr code image and you can see the screenshot uh, of the scanner application as well which, which shows our data that we have input from the form uh, that the name is raman preet singh and the email is raman bobli 19 at the red gmail.com and the mobile number is an hypothetical number 888999 so this is the qr code that has been generated in your di directory and you can scan and you can get the details out of it right so now this was a very uh, a very small uh, video and a very fun uh, application that how we can play with the uh, libraries of java but yes i will be definitely waiting for your comments that how practically we can use these qr codes in our applications in our day to day life and this was it from the video and if you people find my videos knowledgeable and if you find all my playlists knowledgeable so please give it a like share and a comment and also please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that the notification could be sent to you whenever i upload a new video so this was it from the video i'll see you in the next video till then happy learning